by China as a journey of friendship, cooperation, and peace. The two dear friends, as they describe themselves, wrapped up a state visit with a warm goodbye and talk of Russia and China being the driving forces behind changes not seen in 100 years. Russia's interpretation of the visit summed up in one headline reading, Guest from Heaven. In Ukraine, where Russia wages its brutal war, a hellish morning. Two nine-story residential buildings were hit in a strike in the city of Zaporizhia. At least 30 people were injured and one person killed. It was captured on surveillance video. 13 months on, Ukraine's president took to social media writing these strikes should not become just an ordinary day in Ukraine. The United States had urged Chinese President Xi Jinping to persuade Russia to, quote, halt the war crimes. China's foreign ministry spokesperson pushed back today, asking, is it fair to push the conflict towards escalation with spillover effects on the world? The state visit did not result in any peace deal developments. The two did sign bilateral trade deals cementing future cooperations in sectors such as agriculture and technology. Far from any pomp or ceremony, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky spent Wednesday touring the Donetsk region. Surprised soldiers at a gas station snapped photos. The president spent time shaking hands and handing out medals in a hospital and at a location identified only as being in the direction of Bakhmut, an eastern hotbed of deadly fighting. The visit, no doubt Ukraine's way of showing the world its troops are holding steady. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.